Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn another good concept uh, regarding Excel. Might be sometimes you have gone through or observed about uh, double negative sign used in Excel formula. Now, why uh, there is a double negative uh, sign used in formula and uh, what is the purpose? What what this sign actually does so let's understand uh, with two examples okay so let's say if I write some numbers uh, in Excel cell 45 90 uh, let's say one more number 50 and then 100 okay and if I want to check that either this is exactly a number or not so Excel has a function which is equals to is number now this number checks that a value or a number present in a cell it's it's actually a from a data type point of view it's actually a number or not so if a cell contains a number uh, this function returns true if it's not a number it will return a false so basically there are a lot of Excel functions which returns uh, the boolean values and if you have an idea about or if you have gone through uh, array formulas uh, what array formulas does is is they calculate boolean values inside them uh, they are nested and they then produce the results according to the logic so basically if we talk about this function is number it, it will check that if an if a cell contains a number so it will gives us a true otherwise false so it so there are a lot of functions which generates boolean values okay so let's apply that first so now 45 is is a correct type and it's a number so the is number uh, checks and uh, returns the boolean value that is true okay and similarly if, if I apply the same function downwards so on 50 and 100 although we can see that it's a number but you know that it's technically not a number uh, the property of this particular cell is is as a text okay so this particular function is returning false now this two minus signs or double negative signs converts the boolean value into numbers so we know that the true is is basically one and false is basically zero at the back end so what double minus sign two minus signs do for you is that when when you add this into some particular logic uh, now you will not get the true or false instead you will get one or zero so that you can further link with the another kind of a logic in Excel and then you can connect or do some further calculations so two minus signs or double negative sign whatever you can say is basically convert the boolean values true and false into one and zero okay now for example if I again use the same logic or a function is number but before that if I use double minus sign and now I start writing is number and then I select that cell now you can see that instead of giving me true it, it converted that true into one and false into zero okay so this is the primarily understanding about the double minus or double negative sign okay now let's have one more example let's say if we have some numbers and 90 80 45 32 11 67 um, 38 37 now we want to know that how many values or numbers with which we have written here in this particular array are less than 50 so let's start equals to sum two minus signs then I will select this range and I will say that check if this range contains contains value less than 50 and I will close the bracket so now it gives me 5 now now if I see from here there are 5 values which are less than 50 and that's met the criteria right so I, I hope that you you can say that this could be possible with the help of count ifs function 
right but to give you an idea that what this double minus sign is doing here is this particular range what it is doing is it is it is creating for for every cell it is creating either it meet the criteria or not so there are five values who are particularly meeting the criterias uh, which we can say that they are true and they are one so you can uh, say that on the back end for the 90 it it generates zero on the back end for 80 it generates zero for 45 because it's meeting the criteria so this this particular equation created one at the back end similarly for the 32 one and after reading all the values from each of the cell we have five ones and they are summed together so we got the answer that there are five values which are less than 50 right so this is how uh, the double minus sign or two negative signs basically they convert boolean values true and false into a numeric ones okay thank you